Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. And tonight, two bottles go head to head, face to face, mano y mano, belly to belly, tit to tit. These two bottles are going to get after it because tonight it's a bourbon skirmish. These two bottles are very unique. So unique, in fact, that I'm guessing that nobody out there can do the same exact comparison. Unless, of course, you can because you have these bottles, exactly these bottles. In which case, I am wrong and I will eat crow. And by crow, I mean bourbon. And by eat, I mean guzzle. So hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I am dead wrong. Normally, at least once a year, I'll do a Stag Jr. vs. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Showdown, a bourbon skirmish between batches. But guess what? These batches aren't even batches. This time, we're doing single barrels in the blue corner. Stag Jr. single barrel from a liquor barn here in Colorado. You'll notice there's not much of it left because I brought it to a bottle share and shared it. And then I, then I, drank, I drank some. I drank some. 133.9 proof Buffalo Trace single barrel goodness. And in the red corner, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Single Barrel. This bugger is eight years old and 127.7 proof. It was picked by the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club. Couple of gangsters. Which one will I prefer? I don't know. I don't know. That's why we're locking these two in a garage. A garage of bourbon and crickets with a referee to have it out. That referee is me. It's time to throw down. Showdown. Bourbon skirmish time. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Huh? 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 What do you think? You? You? Hmm? 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 Stag Jr. Single Barrel. Ha! America. We'll go in glass A because it is almost gone. Mash and Journey Elijah Craig 8 year old barrel proof. Single barrel. <laughs> America. <laughs> Mixing them up. Mixing them up. Which one is which? Which one is which? Which one is which? I bet you you don't know. I bet you I don't know. Ta da. Magic. Oh, can I switch them? Ta da. Magic. I did it. I did them both. Glass number one. Swirl it and twirl it. Is it the stag or the Elijah Crag? Who knows? Not me. Not me. We don't know which one it is. We don't know which one it is. Am I going to be able to tell the difference between these two? Probably. I am the world's top whiskey taster. So there's that. I'm going to try to ignore the fact that I'm going to figure out which one is which. And I'm just gonna go after which one I enjoy more. Which one is better? What's the better pour? <sighs> Can I do it objectively or subjectively? Or however somebody would do it without showing bias? Maybe, maybe not. But we're about to find out. Class number one. Ooh. Hmm. Weird. Dark cherries and sweet oak. Vanillin, dark cherries, sweet oak, vanilla, heavy brown sugar. <sighs> hmm, very dark and oily nose. You can tell when a whiskey is oily on the nose sometimes, and that's what this one is. You can tell it's going to be a viscous son of a biscuit. You can tell just by smelling it. Yes. 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 A little bit of Cracker Jack, a little bit of Cracker Jack, nothing wild, nothing out of the ordinary, just a nice, proofy, thick, dark bourbon. Maybe a little pecan pie, maybe not. Maybe it's the pecant pie. We've been down that road before. Now let's take it for a ride. 
down the old 15 lane bourbon highway. Locals call it my throat. Whoa. That. Oh. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns. That is just a. That's wonderful. Oh my. That's like a pure cherry oak extract chafing the inner thighs of your of your mouth. Just rubbing everything together. What happens when friction meets viscosity? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, glass number one I like a lot. I do like this a lot. A lot. Cherry and oak. And just sweet, great. A bit grapey, actually. Just a solid, super awesome, very easy to drink, barrel-proof bourbon. Can glass number one be outdone? Glass number two. Ooh, hello. Hello, Hansy. What are you doing? Glass number one was cherry. Glass number two is like a cherry with three scoops of stevia on it. It's even sweeter. This one is more of a cherry cream, like a cherry, like the inside of a cherry cordial, or the inside of one of those Christmas cherry, you know what I'm talking about. It's like a maraschino cherry. Yeah. This is more of a maraschino cherry where glass number one was more of an oak cherry. Huh. Yes. Yes. This doesn't have the oily aspect to the nose. It's not coming across as thick and viscous. In terms of the nose, glass number one was like a diesel truck rolling cold directly into your nostrils. It was in there and it just stuck around. You could tell it was thick. Glass number two is super sweet and is like like a Jeep Trailhawk, supercharged 700 horsepower running on ethanol, E85 corn forward. Wee, wee, wee. I want a trail hawk very bad. Wee, wee, wee. Just wee, wee. Supercharger. Wee. It's like glass number two is passing emissions and glass number one is living in Texas or somewhere where emissions are frowned upon. Glass number two is about to meet some pizza down the hatch. Hmm. Hmm. It's a can. Okay, this tastes like a cherry candy, but I. What in the world were those things? I'm freaking out. This is like Mandela effect or something. That's not what that means. This tastes like a cherry candy. They were long and thin. Long and thin. It was like this long and like this wide and very thin, very thin. And it was a hard candy and you could lick them and stuff. And then they turn into like a sword shape. You could just lick them, it's a hard candy. Did they make Jolly Rancher candies that were long and really thin? What the heck? I guess the best way to describe it is like a cherry Jolly Rancher. But it really brought me back to a candy that I completely forgot all about. Glass number two is thinner than glass number one. Much thinner. It's very good. Glass number two is very good. I could sip this all day every day. All day every day. I love glass two. But I think it's a bit thinner than glass number one. And maybe not as complex or enjoyable but still very good. Unless, of course, I am wrong, so let's go back to glass number one. Oh yeah. The nose on this is rich and delicious. If there were an adult novel, and that novel had two main characters, and they were both bourbon, and there there was great scenes in there of hotness and viscous friction. This is that book. It is a real page turner. 
I can say with great confidence that although I really enjoy glass number two and I think it's an amazing bourbon and something that I would just love to have all the time, glass number one is actually like easily the winner, easily the winner. I'm not gonna score these two, but if I were to score these two, glass number one would be in the high eights and glass number two would be in the lowish eights. This bourbon skirmish has been stopped. Three minutes, 37 seconds into round number one. Declaring the winner by flying armbar and 12 to six elbows, Elijah Craig, single barrel, eight year old barrel proof mash and journey, badass gangster, single barrel son of a bitch. A person can only hope that all Elijah Craig barrel proof single barrels are this good because this is ridiculously good. Like ridiculously good. Am I an Elijah Craig barrel proof fanboy? Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't stop drinking them. It's a problem. If I have a bottle of it, guess what? Gone. Friggin' love them. Friggin' love them. This might be better than the first two batches and it's four years younger. I could be wrong though. It might not be as good, but I think it might be. Idiot Matt, make some videos about stuff we can actually buy. Super sorry. I had to do it. I had to do it. I never thought I'd have these either, but I got them. I actually got them somehow. Had to do a little bourbon skirmish. My name is Matt and this is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on trying to come up with TikToks because my wife forced me to make a TikTok account. Even though I am 36 years old, I weigh over 300 pounds, I cannot shake my ass, or what else is popular on there? Or shake, I don't even have an ass. That's the problem. That's the problem. I'd shake it if I had it. I don't even have it. I don't even have it. Wiggle, I'm just not there. It's literally missing. And I squatted at least three times today. What was I even saying? Oh, TikToks. TikToks are hard. TikToks are hard, especially when you don't wanna do them. But my wife is checking every single day to make sure I'm posting at least one TikTok. So if you're on TikTok and you know what, never mind. Don't, don't watch them. You'll probably, if you even had the most, if you had the slightest bit of respect for me, then following me on TikTok would ruin that immediately. You would probably unsubscribe to this channel and throw your phone into the nearest oncoming semi because it's that bad. I wish she'd insist on me doing something else I'm bad at. 